As a former Tulsa mayor, who are you getting behind in this upcoming primary between GT and uh, Dewey Bartlett? Well, I'd be pretty hard pressed to support the same candidates that's being supported by, by um, uh, the the past Democrat uh, 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 mayors, and so you know you you have Kathy, uh, you have Kathy Taylor and Susan Savage, and I, they're both uh, supporting GT. I'll be supporting, and I'll be voting for Dewey. Anything particular about that race? Because it's getting kind of heated. Heated. Well, you know, it is. You, I, there are a lot of things that I've watched. I'm really the the right person to ask because I spent four terms as mayor of Tulsa, and uh, I really felt we accomplished a lot. And I've been trying to encourage Dewey to, and I think that in his next term, if he is reelected, is going to be doing more things, trying to use the the power that is there to do. You know, I remember when we did the Lower Water Dam. That was something we did without any bond issue. We did without any tax increase. And there are a lot of things we can do in Tulsa to make Tulsa greater. And look, I've got a, uh, I have a reason for this. I've, I've got 20 kids and grandkids, all but six live in Tulsa. So uh, I, I'm very, very concerned about the outcome. And, I, and I, I feel that we have an opportunity to carry on a good program. And uh, I plan to be, you know, more assertive, I think, in, 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 in uh, yeah, I'm a United States senator, but I've got a huge family that lives in Tulsa, so I'm interested in Tulsa.